Today, I'm going to talk about the reality of divorce versus the movies, five differences. This is Anju Jasani for Divorce for Dignity Mediation Services in New Jersey. So first, let me give you a quick rundown of some of my favorite divorce movies. My favorite is Marriage Story, which is a recent movie. Next, we have The Parent Trap. I like the Haley Mills version, not the Lindsay Lohan version. I love Kramer versus Kramer, especially Dustin Hoffman, the day before Christmas Eve when he's looking for a job. It shows how frantic people can get in divorce. Next, we have Mrs. Doubtfire, who doesn't love Robin Williams. And last but not least is The War of the Roses. So these are great movies in different ways, and they capture the emotions of divorce. However, the movies are different from real life. Today, I'm going to focus on five differences and look forward to hearing from you about your perspectives on divorce in the movies. The first is custody. In the movies, it's winner take all. The reality is courts encourage parents, both parents, to have a relationship with the children. It may not be 50-50, but it's very rarely 100% to one parent and 0% to the other parent. Custody is not winner take all. The next is divorces are always acrimonious. That's not the case. If you watch movies, the parties ramp up with their shark attorneys and everyone goes to war. Most middle-class people can't afford this type of conflict. So many of those go through mediation, they do it privately. It's not acrimonious, it could be, but they just can't afford it. And they keep things under the boiling point to save money and also to have a future relationship with each other. The third is the judge is waiting to hear your case. He can't wait to schedule your divorce trial. The reality is less than 1% of cases go to trial. And if you do go to trial, it may take up to two years in New Jersey to schedule that trial. And you may get one date in April, half day in uh, June, and uh, evening in August or an afternoon in August. It doesn't go day after day. By the time you're on the third day, you can't remember the first day. That's the reality of trials in 2021. The, third, the fourth is divorce is rampant. Actually, the divorce rate has gone down since the 80s. The divorce rate is the number of divorces over the total population. And I'm going to read from this because I can't memorize this. The divorce rate rose from 2.2% in 1960 to 5.3% in 1981 and then dropped to 3.6% in 2007. So divorce is not rampant. And in fact, it peaked in the 80s and it's been going down. Number five is people in divorce are still romantically involved with each other. This happens in the movies, but in reality, by the time people are coming to my office, they're staying in the house, sleeping in separate rooms. One person may want the divorce and the other doesn't, but the one who wants the divorce does not want to give mixed signals to the other. This is very rare that there's still some type of romantic involvement. So these are my five top observations about the difference between movies and reality. I encourage people to watch divorce movies if they're going through a divorce because it normalizes the process. But watch these with uh, an ounce of skepticism. Not everything you see in the movies is real. Try and separate myth from reality. It's Anju Jasani for Divorce with Dignity Mediation Service. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to hearing your thoughts about divorce in the movies.